Hi, I'm Jim Luby. I'm a Pasco resident, and uh, I'm not going to read this. Um, you've heard everything that everybody said tonight, and um, and I hope that uh, you will do some due diligence and really look into some of these issues, um, because really it's it's not just a town issue, but it is. The immediate area is certainly going to suffer more than other areas, but this is uh, an issue that's much larger, as people mentioned. Um, and the reason, uh, I mean, forgive me, I'm, I'm in the middle of a very, very long sleep deprivation experiment. Um, a lot of us are not sleeping. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, so, um, what, okay, so the, I don't know if there are records at the Department of Health um, on the cancer-related deaths and illnesses near power plants. Um, I don't know if there's been a study uh, on the area um, by Ocean State Power, but I know of, of a neighborhood near that power plant where every household has either had someone die of cancer, someone that has cancer now, or someone who has had cancer and beat it. And so I don't know, uh, I know this is a hearing and I'm, I don't know if you can respond to questions, but if there are any kind of records like that, I would hope that you would look into that because they are bringing death to us. Um, that's why we're all <laughs> going to these meetings three nights a week. Um, so, I'm not going to read all this, but um, there was something at the end of uh, your draft that said uh, that states are allowed to adopt more stringent standards than the EPA's NAAQS standards. Um, I don't know. And it's it, the problem, well, anyway, I just think, why not? Why not in the beautiful ocean state? Why not have higher standards? I think it's a great idea. Um, the, the process, the draft says, is arduous. I don't know. Don't you think it would be worth it? I do. Um, so please do your best to get all the facts and, um, and help us here, because um, there are certainly health impacts, so many. <laughs> Say no to Synve Energy. Thank you.